Hey y'all, my name is Sarah Bacala and I own Built by Bacala. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make acrylic earrings. We're going to do a three separate pair. We're going to do a butterfly wing earring, a flower earring, and a crawfish earring. We're going to be using our X-Tool P2 as well as a three millimeter acrylic. So follow along and we'll show you how to do each of those. Okay, y'all, so we're going to use this three millimeter uh, gold mirrored acrylic for our butterfly wings. Um, obviously, we'll be using our X-Tool P2, and we will show y'all how to design this on the XCS program. All right, now we're gonna utilize the new honeycomb panel in our X-Tool P2 unit, and I cannot wait to see how it performs. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and prep our design for the laser. With this particular design, we're gonna be cutting everything out. So I'm gonna make sure that I have it selected to cut. In just a moment, I'm also going to go to our materials. So if we're working with MDF, wood, acrylic, etc., I can go here, choose one of those, and it's gonna have some predefined settings. For this particular material we'll be using today with our gold acrylic, I will be doing a little bit of tinkering with it, but we'll get there in just a moment. First, I want to start off with making sure I've got the size right. I can select my design. I see currently it's set for a height of seven and a half inches. It's a pretty big earring. So we're going to go ahead and scale that down a little bit. I'm going to go with 2.25 inches. And I notice that right here is keeping everything proportional. If I wanted to change the dimensions of this, I can hit the unlock button and I can make it taller or wider without uh, affecting the other one. I also want to make sure that I have this. I'm going to duplicate it. And once I do that, I'm going to go to reflect and reflect horizontally to make sure that when I have the earrings, they are mirrored to one another. I'm gonna slide this design over so it's a little bit closer when it's time to cut. So you can see everything, it's ready to go. I'm gonna make sure with both of these again that I have a little bit of adjustments. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the laser and get my materials ready. And then I'm gonna set my material to the acrylic and we'll get everything processed. All right, so now I'm going to go to our material. I'm selecting a three millimeter transparent acrylic. I'm gonna hit refresh and I will see our working area. I'm gonna take these since it's black on a dark background, I'm actually going to take this layer and move it. Now it's a little bit easier to see. I can see in my workspace where I want to set my design. I also like to make sure that I get my measurements just right. So I'm going to use the auto measure feature. and I've got my thickness dialed in perfectly. Now I'm gonna to go to capture close view on this area. In order to maximize my space, get it dialed in just right. Then for my final step again, since this is gonna to apply to both wings, I'm gonna click my layer again. I'm gonna go with cut. For this particular material, I like to go with two passes versus one. I found that that ensures all my pieces are cut out properly. And then from there, we're ready to go. I'm gonna hit process. I see my earrings are ready to go and I'm gonna hit start. And then I'm gonna turn it over to my wife to get things going.
our second pair of earrings. It's going to be a uh, trio of flowers. We're going to use this pink acrylic here. It's pink on both sides, also three millimeter. And once again, we'll show you in XCS how to design that and get it ready to cut. We've got all our shapes ready to go. To utilize our acrylic to its maximum ability, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these closer together so we can get the most out of our material. Now that I got that done, notice again, we've got our hole here, making sure that it's not repeated at the bottom for our final of the trio. I'm gonna make sure with this, since it's all the same component, that it's set to cut. And then like last time, I'm gonna set my user defined material. Once I do that, I'm going to also ensure that I've got all of this set to have two passes. Now I'm gonna get the materials on there, refresh my screen, and then get everything ready for the next step. Now refresh my screen, I've got my design ready to go and get it positioned properly. Let me go ahead and rotate this design. And again, making sure that I've got my cut. And for this particular material, I'm also gonna do two passes process. Now we're ready to go. So last but not least, we're going to be using this pink mirrored acrylic, also three millimeters, and this will be for our crawfish earring. This one's going to be a little bit different because we will be doing some engraving um, in the program, but we'll show you those settings in the XCS program uh, before you start to cut. Okay guys, so we are all done and I really hope that this has inspired you to make some really cool earrings with your X-Tool P2 um, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.